What's up guys, my name is Devin, also known as FBE, and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're going to be bringing you guys another episode of the What Players Were on the Field series, and today we're going to talk about Tony Pollard of the Dallas Cowboys. Just in case you guys are new to the series or just need a quick refresher about what we do, what we do, we take a player for this episode, it's Pollard, and we talk about their gear head to toe, helmets, cleats, gloves, shoulder pads, you name it, we're going to talk about it in today's video. The main reason we're choosing Tony Pollard for today's video is your guys' comments, tons of you guys were requesting him, so here it is. And if there's anybody else you guys want to see featured on the series, comment them below or like the comment of somebody else to bring that comment to the top. Without further ado, let's get into it starting up top with the helmet. This season, Tony Pollard has been rolling with the Riddell Axiom. Pollard was one of the first guys to switch to the Axiom originally and he's stuck with it ever since. As you guys probably know by now, the Axiom is the latest and greatest technology from Riddell and there's a lot of stuff going on with it. First off, this lid has their surround flex system which is four panels, one on the front, one on each side, and one in the back. And just like on the Speed Flex, these work together to flex and absorb some of that initial impact. The next key to this helmet is going to be their true fit system. Every one of these helmets is custom built for the player. A Riddell rep will come by, scan your head, and they will build you custom pads for a unique, personalized fit. Another important aspect on this helmet is going to be the overall vision. Now, some people love the wider opening at the top because of the increased visibility, but some people, like me, aren't really a huge fan of how the helmet looks. I do think it looks a little bit weird without that top bar, but I'm all for innovation in the football equipment space. Another thing I should mention about this helmet is that it comes with a visor built in. Now, of course, this is going to add a little bit more protection, but if it rains, that large opening leaves you pretty exposed. You can even see what it looks like when Tony Pollard took it off. It just has this wide gap right near his eyes. Looks a little sketchy to me. Regardless, this is the latest innovation out of Riddell and scored a perfect 5 out of 5 on the Virginia Tech helmet rating scale. It's at number 5 on that list and a little bit higher than the Riddell Speedflex. Now, if you guys want to grab one for yourself, I believe you have to go through your local Riddell rep. Because of that custom fit process, it's not something you can just order online or pick up at a store. Next thing we're going to talk about is Tony Pollard's chin strap. Now, this is pretty much the only true upgrade he's made to the this helmet setup and he's opted to roll with the sports star victory t-rex hurricane chin strap i've said it before and i'll say it again these are simply the best chin straps in football i have them on every single one of my helmets for a reason they're awesome they're comfortable and they look really good as well they're also proven to absorb more impact than anything else on the market so it's definitely an addition you should consider our good friends over at green gridiron have them for around 30 bucks if you guys are interested and just something to keep in mind as you guys watch this video every single product will be linked in the description below so you guys can directly shop tony pollard's locker down there the next piece of equipment is something we've covered on the channel but never in a what pros wear video and that's going to be the Q30 Q collar. The Q collar is that small little collar you guys see on Tony Pollard's neck every single Sunday, and its goal is to aid in protecting the brain. I'll give you guys a quick breakdown about how this thing works, but if you guys want a full in-depth breakdown, Tony made an awesome video and it's on the channel, definitely go check it out. But basically, the collar adds a little bit of compression to your jugular veins to push more blood to your brain and then keep it there. With this extra bit of blood around your brain, it keeps your brain from sloshing around as much as you play football and take hits. Now, there's tons of science and research back in the Q collar, but I'll let Tony Pollard tell you guys himself why he wears it. The Q collar makes me feel like I have the advantage on the field. It makes me feel like I have an upper hand. It makes me feel like I have a, you know, an extra layer of defense that most guys don't have. And it just mentally makes me feel like I'm more safe and more taken care of when I'm on the field. The Q collar is getting more and more popular throughout all levels of football, and it's a great way to get some extra protection. I basically like to look at it like this. The helmet protects you from the outside, and then the Q collar protects you from the inside. If you guys want to get yourself a Q collar, they're available at Q30.com for about 200 bucks. Next thing we got to talk about is shoulder pads. Mr. Tony Pollard has been rolling with the X-Tech X2 shoulder pads. It seems like every single player we've talked about in this series this year has been in these shoulder pads, so I won't waste too much time on it. But they're a lightweight protective shoulder pad that allows for maximum range of mobility. They allow Pollard to be protected in the trenches, but have the movement to catch the ball out of the backfield and make guys miss in the open field. If you guys want to grab yourself a set of x -Tex, they're 579 bucks on x -Tex website. Next up, we got to talk about arm accessories. For most games this season, Tony Pollard has been rolling with turf tape on both arms. Now, obviously the goal of turf tape is to prevent turf burn when you're playing on turf fields, when you're sliding or falling on the turf, but Pollard has been wearing it on grass as well. Turf tape is always a really good look. It's nice, subtle drip, and Pollard has been wearing it in white. If you guys want to grab turf tape for yourself, pretty much any like accessory football brand makes these. Next Trend, Battle Sports, Sleefs, all those guys have their own and they're usually pretty affordable as well so i'll drop some links in the description below now in games he wasn't wearing turf tape he was wearing the white mcdavid padded arm sleeve now of course these sleeves also prevent turf burn but he only wears them on one arm but the pad on the elbow is a nice touch and gives him a little bit of cushion when he falls on that arm mcdavid's padded arm sleeves are honestly my personal favorite and if you guys want to grab one they're about 28 bucks from their website this season tony pollard has worn four different pairs of football gloves the pair he's worn the most this year is the nike vaporjet 7.0 he's worn these in a royal blue colorway a white and royal colorway and lastly a black pair with leather palms. The leather palm pair was pulled out 
for a rainy game where the regular Magna Grip wouldn't have been as effective. Either way, the Nike Vaporjet 7.0 is one of the best skill gloves on the market. They fit really tight all the way around and the Magna Grip Plus palms are excellent when the weather is nice and dry. These are a great option for a back like Tony Pollard. If you guys want to get some Nike Vaporjet 7.0s for yourself, Dick Sporting Good has them in a bunch of colorways for about 50 bucks. But unfortunately, you won't be able to get the leather palm pair because these are a pro and college football model only. The next pair of gloves Pollard has worn this season is the Nike Vaporjet 6.0. He's worn these in a regular white and black colorway and then a black leather palm pair as well. Now, of course, the Nike Vaporjet 6.0 is the previous version of the Nike Vaporjet 7.0 we just talked about and also a really good skill glove. These have the same tight fit, good feel, and again, sticky manager palms. If you guys want some of these, they are an outdated model, but there's still some floating around from Sports Unlimited and Amazon. The third pair of gloves Tony Pollard has pulled out this season are the Nike Vaporjet 1.0. He had these in a really nice colorway. They were gray with royal blue. Perfect for Dallas. These right here are a bit of a throwback pair. I want to say these dropped in either 2015 or 2016, but definitely pretty old. These were the OG. These were the first edition of the high tier Nike Vaporknit line with, of course, the Vaporknit back of hand. As you can imagine, because of the knit, they're super duper lightweight and they have the early form of the Nike Madden Grip, which is still pretty sticky. Overall, these are pretty cool to see. You never really see these older style gloves pop up. So shout out to Tony Pollard for going OG. And just like most old gear, if you guys want to get it, slide on over to eBay. Now for the final pair of gloves, he pulled a pair of Nike Vaporknit 2.0s in a navy and silver colorway. And as you guys could probably guess from the name, these are the second version of the Nike Vaporknit. Still have that nice knit back of hand, but a little bit of tweaks from the OG 1.0. These are probably my favorite pair he's pulled out all season because they just look so good. The colorway and silhouette on these looks amazing and he did a great job pairing them with those navy Dallas jerseys. Overall just a super super clean look. And again to find these head on over to eBay. Now finally on to cleats this season Tony Pollard has worn two different pairs of cleats. The first pair is the Nike Vapor Edge 360 Pro 2 and he's worn them in three colorways white and black, white and royal blue, and navy and white. He pretty much switched to these about mid-season and seems to be really comfortable in them. They dropped this past year and have quickly gotten very popular in the NFL. They're a really good skill cleat with some really solid traction. The edge plate on these is the best in the market because of its springiness and sharp edge studs. They're just a good pair of football cleats and perfect for running back like Tony Pollard. And if you guys want to grab a pair, Dick Sporting Goods has them for about 130 bucks. Now the final pair of cleats is a pair of cleats he wore all last year in the beginning of this year, the Nike Alpha Menace Pro 1 Low. Now I believe the pair he was in are a pro slash CFB edition only because they are very low cut. The general release version of this cleat was more of a mid cut. I don't think the public got this super low edition. I think they created this pro model for guys like Pollard who wanted an Alpha Menace with a feel of a vapor. Either way, these are an older cleat from 2017 and Pollard has stayed true to them for a while up until this season. These have the Nike Alpha Traction plate with long triangle studs that cater towards agility and power. And they usually have pretty good support, but since they kind of cut out that ankle support, I'm not sure really how these would feel as a low cut cleat. Either way, he's worn them in three solid colorways, navy, royal, and silver. And I'm pretty sure they're all hand painted by at underscore Jada from the block. Now, if you want to grab some Nike Alpha Menace Pro ones for yourself, head on over to eBay because again, these are old. There you guys have it. There's Tony Pollard's game day gear, head to toe. A lot of cool stuff in there, a lot more cool gear than I was expecting. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, like the video, comment who you guys want to see featured next, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. My name is Devin, also known as FBE, and thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of Footballers.